Hi, my name's Nathan Potter, and welcome to my Minecraft interpretation of Mount St. Helens. In this video, I'll be giving you a bunch of information and a live showcase of how volcanoes work, along with some history and backstory to the 1980 eruption. As you can see, we have a helicopter, and that's where we will be taking our tour today. So, let's fly over and get to our knowledge book. Here, we should start reading our book. Let's flip to the other page. The volcano ahead of you is Mount St. Helens. In Washington of 1980, this volcano erupted with 4.2 on the VEI scale. Prior to the 1980 eruption, Mount St. Helens erupted nine times, with each pulse lasting less than 100 to 5,000 years. During the 1980 eruption, 57 people were killed, 250 homes, 50 miles of railways, and 185 miles of highway was destroyed. The boundaries that Mount St. Helens sits on is Juan de Fuca in North America, which is also part of the Ring of Fire. The type of boundaries Mount St. Helens sits on is a convergent plate boundary. Convergent plate boundaries has two land plates pushing together and one of them sliding under the other. But now you are probably wondering how volcanoes erupt. Well, volcanoes erupt because hot magma, which later turns into liquefied lava, and hot gas build up pressure inside a big tube. Once the tube builds up with just enough pressure, the volcano blows its top and erupts. Alright, now let's move on to the live showcase. Turn over here and head over to our small little stratosphere volcano. Now, normally, when stratosphere volcanoes start, it builds up a lot of pressure. And it kind of has a cave-in, just like this, flicking our reverse and having a cave-in. So the lava is now ex exposed. But now, it builds up even more pressure, and lava starts to fuel out of the volcano. But once it builds up enough pressure, or even sometimes too much pressure, the volcano basically blows up. Now lava is explode and starts flowing. Thank you for listening to my Minecraft interpretation of Mount St. Helens. I hope you all have a great day and goodbye.